A Bronx native fashion designer is focusing his work on showcasing the beauty of all women of color as well as different backgrounds. And he's glad, we're glad to actually have him here sharing on the set with us. He recently launched his brand, and we welcome now Edwin Reyes. And uh, good uh -huh. to have you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So talk to me a little bit about this. You're a fashion designer. You got your brand out and started just about a year ago, huh? Yeah. So it's fairly new. Um, my brand is focusing on women and women empowerment and just making women feel beautiful about themselves and just expressing this love and this, like, passion with them. And so... I use um, women of color because, you know, in the fashion industry now, it's like, it's kind of not the norm to use a black woman in a magazine photo shoot or in a runway. So I use them because it's, you know, something different and something that, you know, we should be, be embracing about women. Mm -hmm. And so we've got a couple of models here, and I want you to take the time to uh, introduce us to your line and tell us a little bit about your line. And uh, mm -hmm. you've got some... Uh, Lovely ladies, as we said, the brand is designed to uh, reach out to women of all different backgrounds. And uh, talk to us about your line here. All right, so this is Alma. Um, we met in college, actually, and she. this is from my spring line, and this was the finale dress. Um, this was actually my first show. It was in February, and the, the collection was about um, this flowy colors and this light colors, and... Um, the dress is very beautiful. I wanted something very long, something elegant, something the the inspiration was like, you know, um, something simple and yeah. And with some pop to it, huh? Yeah, with the yeah. buttons. I like the buttons a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So talking about designing it, when you came up with the concept design, how long did it take you to get from the place where you thought about it to actually making it and getting it out there? Yeah. So... For this line in particular, it was kind of all over the place, but you know, every designer is like that. <laughs> and so after designing and seeing like what my head is going through, like I finally chose a color palette and it was the colors are like green, white, blacks, something very neutral, something clean. Um, I start off with sketches and then I go fabric shopping, then measurements and so forth, you know. Yeah. And so bold, this is the uh, order of the day. Our next model, I know, has uh, got a pretty bold color out yeah. there. And uh, <laughs> walk us through this design and uh, tell us a little bit more about this. Gotcha. Well, that's open design right there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so this is Samantha. She's my best friend slash manager for my, my brand. Um, this dress was actually from my video campaign that I had about two weeks ago. And the video campaign was about women growing up in the Bronx and telling their stories, telling their experiences growing up and being born in the Bronx. So I chose a bright color because I wanted, um, actually the photo shoot happened in the, in the hood, mm -hmm. you know, in the Bronx. So I wanted something bright to pop behind like, you know, the brown buildings and, you know, mm -hmm. the neutral colors of the buildings. So that's why I chose a bright color. And so going forward, where do you see things going and what do you have up uh, up on deck? So hopefully I'm trying to have a pop-up shop in May um, just selling my pieces. I have a lot of one-of-a-kind pieces, so I would definitely like to have those sold. Um, my September show is going to be a bigger show than my February, hopefully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. And so what's the biggest lesson that you've learned being a designer? Because obviously, you know, being in the business for a year... You learn some things, you see some things. What's been the biggest thing you've learned this year? Um, never get your hopes high, because models are very <laughs> mm -hmm. unpredictable. Um, always have a backup plan, for sure. Um, always have an extra photographer, extra makeup artist, because you know people don't really pull through sometimes. So that I, I think that. And for somebody else who's thinking about doing this, obviously you're taking your dream, your passion, mm -hmm. and you've made it happen. What, what advice do you give to somebody who's out there who's thinking about doing this from somebody who is doing this? Honestly, just go for it. Like, I, I, I didn't even go to college to be a fashion designer. I didn't go to school. I learned on YouTube, <laughs> myself, common sense. Mm -hmm. um, 
So just go for it. Just follow your dreams. Even not even to be a fashion designer because there's a lot of jobs in the fashion industry that doesn't require you to make a dress. It may require you to um, manage models or dress models or manage a whole company. Mm -hmm. So just follow your dreams. Well, Edward, certainly we want you to continue to follow your dream. It's been great to have you. Thank and, uh, you. The lovely models that we've had here. And if you want to find out more about them, you know the information is at the bottom of the screen. Edwin Reyes, a fashion designer. And uh, thank you once again for joining us. Thank you.